Okay, this is a short little video I'm going to create on how to uh, do the three model from SketchUp. So I'm just on the construction homepage, right? I'm going to go to my models page and I'm going to go down to the SketchUp 3D model from floor plan. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on this link here and you're going to download a basic floor plan. Okay, it could be anything, uh, but we're just downloading this one. Okay. So you click download, it's going to download there, and now you can close that file, okay? And this video is going to be right here, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do now is you have to open up SketchUp 2017, and on your desktop, you should have this uh, little icon here, it says SketchUp 2017. If you don't see that, grab my attention. Then you click start using SketchUp. It should open up if it uh, brings up some other options then get my attention and I can kind of help you get through those. So basically just if you come up with state like use a template or something like that. So but it might not look exactly like mine. So I'm gonna delete this guy first. So I'm gonna click on it, right click and then um it says erase. Okay. So I'm gonna first go to um it says camera. I'm gonna go to my standard views and go to my top view. This is the way it should look just XY coordinates okay so now we're going to actually have to download our I'm sorry, import the um, floor plan that we just downloaded. So we're going to click File and Import. Now, at first, you won't see this. You might see, uh, it might see just SketchUp files or something like that, you know, and then you won't see anything. But it, so you click on Downloads and you're like, I don't see it. But you need to click Files and go down to JPEG files, so it looks for the JPEG files, which is a this is a JPEG floor plan, and you click on the Commons Basic or whatever it's called, the floor plan you just imported. So then it's attached to your mouse, and all you're going to do is just go down to zero, uh, you know, from geometry zero zero, you know, origin. So it goes there, and actually this click once, and now it's it's telling me like, okay, what size do you want? So it doesn't matter what size, just click on whatever size. And then the next thing you're gonna do is go to the this tape measure tool, okay? What this says right there, this length is supposed to be this width of this door, or this, I'm sorry, this room here, this length of this door here, or width, I'm sorry, is gonna be eight feet. So we know that, and so we actually can make it eight feet. So we're gonna, I'm just scrolling in my mouse here, so I can zoom in and out, just scroll the wheel. On my mouse, I can go up from here, and it has to be on the red line to be in a straight line. So I know, like, that right there should be eight feet. But I'm going to click there, and now I'm going to, you know, um, type in eight. It's down here at the screen. It's putting it down here, eight, and then it's got a little foot. Um, I, I'm actually going to delete that. So eight feet okay so you look just like this on your screen there and then you hit enter and it's going to say do you want to resize the model and you would click yes okay and it's really big so i'm going to scroll my wheel and my mouse and zoom all the way out so maybe you're just going to do one more thing to make sure it's the right size so you can click on the side here it doesn't have to be exact right so you're going to click on the red line and it's seven and eleven and three fourths so it's pretty close i mean it's yeah, so you, it's about eight feet, okay? So you can click uh, Escape in your keyboard. Now what you wanna do is you wanna click on this uh, selection tool, okay? So you wanna select your living area or your, um, I guess you can just went over. So it's selected there, it's got the blue line. It's already had it selected there. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click Explode. If you do not do that, it's gonna create a lot of um, problems for you in the future, but you have to actually explode the JPEG that we imported. Okay. Now you can click off it so it, it's not highlighting anymore. So you actually can go down to the rectangle tool, the shape tool. So we're just going to go with the outline. So the outside here, we'll go from here, click once, and I scroll out and scroll in and I grab this corner over here. So there, I've got the outside. And now I need to do another one for the inside. Okay. So we'll clean it up later. But just here, click once and zoom in to this corner. And that creates your other corner. 
Okay. Then you're going to actually create these other little rooms. Okay. Um, this one actually need you can do it with the line tool. Okay. So we actually can do a straight line. It goes straight across. Those walls are in line. So on the edge there, straight up, it needs to be in the green line. This is vertical. And so we set on the edge. And now we go from this one here and we just scroll in, make sure it's on the edge. It's going to be the green line. Come down here. There you go, on the edge, the green line. And now this line, it goes all the way across. And so we can go from like right here on the edge. This is the red line, horizontal is red. And uh, come down here. So this is like a vertical line there. So then we can go from about right here and come over and that's the right size. Okay, now we need to create another one. Um, it goes from this little point right here all the way across. So these all are in line here. So just create a line there. And these two are in line, so we can actually create a line from here all the way across to here. So we're going to clean up later, okay? And now we actually need to uh, create the edges here. So, or the, the cutoffs, I guess, from here down to here. And now zoom out, zoom in. Now we got from here to there. And one last thing we need to do is even like this little wall here. So from here down to there, to the green line, and then on the edge from there, and down the green line, it's there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is actually clean up this uh, floor plan. So we're gonna click on the eraser tool. So it's got a little circle next to your eraser, and we're gonna use that to actually click on the little lines we wanna take off. So click on here, and we're gonna click on this little thing, click on this little thing, so we're taking out all the empty space, all the lines that go over white space, we're gonna take those off. There, 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 in the middle here, in the middle there, in the middle there. I don't think it will look as you click and drag, you have to actually click on the line. So I've got that my basic floor plan there, okay? So what I can do now is actually just get this, um, I think you can actually hold down the scroll key, it's not working on mine, so I'm gonna hit the orbit tool. And so I just make that 3D right there. So it's now in 3D space. And so I click on the push pull. So I'm gonna click on my wall here. Oh, I didn't actually erase this one little thing. It's got a line that goes through here. So I need to relate that line. I'm gonna go back up to camera and go to standard views and go to my soft view. So just make sure there's, uh, oh, there's one line that goes through. Um, there is maybe a line that goes through here. Yes, I need to delete all those so we don't have the all the walls get created at the same time. And I think that's it. So it this one over here, here, and I think that's oh this one right here. So yes, now I can create. Oh, and I've got a there's the window here. So I need to draw a line that goes from there. So here, so I got my window, and then from here to across there. So I got my window. Okay, I'm sorry. Now I've actually done that. Okay, I hit the orbit tool. I make it 3D. I can zoom in. So now I hit the push pull, and I've got it should actually grab the entire wall. So I, so drag your mouse up, and you click on eight feet or eight feet. Enter. It should be eight feet. Now you click on this wall and start dragging up. So it should grab everything, okay? Because that just deleted what I want to click on. If it doesn't do that, you need to go back and check. Get my attention if you're having trouble. Eight feet, so it brings up that. Now I've got the window here. So the window is gonna go up two feet, four feet. I mean, I'm sorry, you can actually just click on this and come eight feet, enter, so okay, it goes up top. So I'm going to click on my, we need to do some adjustments to the window here. So I'm going to go back to my line tool. So at the, uh, for I know from here, from here to here, we have a midpoint and it's actually be a little blue dot or light blue dot, it's just the midpoint. So from that, I'm going to go straight up, the blue line has to be a blue line. So you're going to go two feet. So you can see down here, it's actually doing like feet and inches. So I need to drag out on the blue line 
and you go to feed enter. Okay, so now I'm going to let go, uh, hit the escape key on my keyboard. Now this green dash line, just because that like it's a little extension, see that green little dash line? I zoom to, you see it's a green dash line, then go all the way over to this line. So it's on the edge. So it needs to be on the edge and part of the green dash line. Click there once, now it's got a solid line, and I go all the way across to this and it's on the edge. Okay. Now I got a line there, it goes all the way across. Now I'm going to go up to this one and on the blue line, be four feet, enter. So it goes up to the top, and I do that same thing again. Hit escape. Now the deck green dash line, it go all the way across, and it goes over to this. So on the edge and green dash line. Now I can click and make it solid, go all the way across here. Okay. And now I'm going to actually delete those two uh, lines I used to create the window. Those two vertical lines. Okay. Now what I can do is I will um, click on this push pull, and I'll click on this, and I've got this, but I want to actually grab it on enter like this since I inside. So I can just come up to my um, little warp tool. It's fine. I can just warp it around. It's got this weird thing that goes to here. That's fine. Now I can go back to the push pull, and it's still got that. So I need to go over here to the inside wall. See that blue on face? And they click there. And so what I've done is I've made that where it's actually at the right. So it's actually just that wall has now just been uh, deleted out. So it's actually at the same level as this wall inside here. So this is the same plane there. So what I'm doing now is what I'm just going to do is actually use the um, materials tool. So I've got the walls, and I need to actually put some material on the walls. So I'm going to go down to, well, let's see, synthetic materials, and I'm going to grab my uh, Formica Lemonade Light, and I click on just uh, just the little walls here. And so I just click on all those and make it the all so just the interior. So I'm just going to roll it around and click on the materials again. Got this one. This one, this one, so it's just all the interior walls. Okay. Here, here, the whole thing. Orbit around some more. I miss some walls there. Click on the materials. Here, 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 right in here. And then this little wall here. Uh, then orbit around again. So maybe I need to actually grab the ends of this wall there. There's some this there. And color. Okay, so I can use the orbit tool just to make sure I've got all those interior walls. I've been use that uh, interior for mica. Oh, I've got the bottom here of the window here. This and this. Okay, so of all the interior walls, now I can actually go and actually apply the material to the window. So I can click glass and mirror, and I click on translucent glass, and I click on that wall. Now I'm actually gonna hit the rotate tool, rotate around, and I've got to do both sides material and this one. So it's going to be translucent. Okay, so when you see through. Now I actually need to apply materials to the outside. So what I'm going to do is I can go down to brick and use the second one. Brick antique is one. And I can just apply this to all the walls here. Okay, now I click on the over tool and order it around. I zoom out if I need to. And then I just click the materials. We got this wall. Orbit around is more. Maybe this the walls here. And, and there. And I can orbit around a bit more. Yeah, I've got all the extra walls done. Okay. And the flooring I can do is actually just add that to, uh, it's got to be a carpet. So I can go down to, um, where is it? Oh, yeah, carpet fabrics. Okay. So I need to grab just the first carpet. Okay. And I click on the floor and make that carpet. Okay. Then, um, I think uh, you can actually save that now. What we're going to do is actually save that. We've got the, we've created the floor plan from that floor plan model. So I can click on orbit around and just make sure I've got everything right. You create the window, it's got to be two foot, four feet, and two feet. So basically it's that dimension there, and actually uh, all the walls are created. Okay. And got to be the carpet and the interior walls, the extra walls. So now you can actually click file and save as. It's going to save it as a sketch file. Okay, so you need to name it, uh, put it into your ID folder, 
and you can name it like uh, just uh, I know three. I'm um, sorry, three B, and then model like this, and you click on save. It's going to save it to your ID number. Okay, and what you're going to do now is you're going to actually turn it in. So I go back to um, Canvas, I click start, and I need to upload that SketchUp file. So I can choose. And I need to go back to my, I can go back to quick access and see this 3D model SketchUp that I just saved. And so 3D models and then click open. And it's got my 3D model. I click submit and it's going to be submitted to that assignment. Okay. That finishes this assignment. Okay.